Hi there! Welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Maria and we are talking about lichen sclerosis. The topic of today's video is the types of vulvar lichens. Yes, you heard that right. There are two general types of genital lichens. The two of them can easily be confused to one another especially at the early stages, but honestly, they have some significant differences. Let's begin. As we all know, the first type, and probably the main type, of genital lichens is lichen sclerosis, which is the autoimmune disease that manifests itself in itching, burning, white patching on the skin, sometimes sores. There is another type of genital lichens, lichen planus. It's an inflammatory skin disease as well as lichen sclerosis, but in general it causes shiny purple, red or brownish purples. They gather in groups and they look like small blisters. They are polygonal in shape and they can be not only in the genital area. They can concentrate in the mouth, on the hands, arms, back, neck, legs and practically anywhere on the body. In general, they are flat-topped and firm when you try to palpate them. If you look at these lesions, under the lens you can see the lacy white outline. So, so far it doesn't look like lichen sclerosis, right? But these lesions are painful and sometimes they are itchy. So, on the early stage, lichen planus and lichen sclerosis are pretty much the same. The skin appears to be reddish, itchy and painful. As you all know, lichen sclerosis doesn't have any lifelong treatment but it can be brought to remission. As for lichen planus, here's the same thing. It's a lifelong condition, but with one main difference from lichen sclerosis. The blisters of lichen planus can be cleared up. So, basically, lichen planus is something more similar to eczema. Although one common thing between lichen planus and lichen sclerosis is that both of these conditions are believed to be able to lead to cancer. So if lichen planus is left untreated, it can leave scarring on the skin, similar to the white patching that lichen sclerosis leaves. What are the signs of lichen planus and how can you detected. First thing is reddish or slightly brownish patches or papules or blisters on the inside of your vulva. Pain or burning sensation around or inside your vagina. Painful or burning sensation in your genital area. Itchiness. And another one sign of lichen planus that is very similar to lichen sclerosis is when lichen planus is left untreated, it can cause not only scarring but general changing in the appearance of genitals. For example, in women, the labia minora and labia majora become flattened, as if all the juices were sucked out of it. The clitoris can be buried under its hood. The opening to the vagina can suddenly shrink and labia minora and labia majora can be glued or fused together. So, similarities between lichen planus and lichen sclerosis are in treatment plan. For lichen planus, they have two types of medications topical, which are used externally, and oral, which are used internally. The topical creams that are typically used for the treatment of lichen planus are absolutely the same as the topical creams and ointments that are used in the treatment of lichen sclerosis, and they are steroids, tacrolimus, pimicrolimus, or retinoids with vitamins a or E. If the affected area is too large and too painful, then steroids can be injected directly inside lesions. The second treatment option for lichen planus is 
oral medications, which are used in severe cases and when lichen planus is spread all over the body. Oral medications are basically steroids like prednisone, and the typical course of this medication taken orally takes around one to three months. It can also be methotrexate, azathioprine, and others. And also there is one treatment option that is similar to treating the affected areas with scarings. It calls phototherapy. It is similar in both cases of lichen sclerosis and lichen planus, but in my opinion, in lichen planus it is more effective. At least it is believed to be more effective than in cases of lichen sclerosis. Anyway, whatever you have, lichen planus or lichen sclerosis, my advice is to take a biopsy because you have to be sure what you've been treated from. Thank you for watching this video. That's all for today. Please subscribe and hit the bell button below the video. It's always nice to see you on my channel. See you in the next episodes. Bye-bye!